ho there, my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn, and as you can see, it is a bright and sunny day today, but it is, in fact, quite chilly. We've had rain for a couple of days. Today we have wind. Yeah, and I'm a little bit cold. I'm all, got my sweater on, got my sweater on, and I bet it's cold where you are too. Bet you're all bundled up. You ever have that day where you're just not feeling it? No. I have to make another meal. I, I just, yeah, I, I hardly ever have those days. But today is the day. I'm not feeling the greatest. And it was a struggle just to get cleaned up and put on clothes. Because all I really wanted to do was sit around in my bathroom all day long. Yeah, I, I even went outside and checked the mail in my bathroom because I was delaying putting myself together. So, you know, gave my neighbors all a show. Melissa says to me, well, every meal doesn't have to be a production. Don't you have something that just takes like five minutes to cook? Mm. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do have a recipe that's pretty darn quick and easy. So let's get down to it. What are we gonna make? We're gonna make chili with a bunch of leftovers. Yeah, and, and some canned stuff and we're just gonna throw it in here and let it do what it does. And I bet you have a recipe just like that. A fallback recipe when you're not feeling it. Something that you can throw together that's quick, easy, satisfying, completely delicious. Yeah, tastes like you cooked it all day. Hot diggity. Let's get down to it, babies. So, first, I have half an onion. Skippy, skippy, because you know I think all good meals start with an onion. We, we eat a lot of them. That three pound bag, it goes fast. Have you done anything interesting today? Anything fun or exciting? Any good plans? I have done a whole lot of nothing. nothing. Yeah, Dishes, laundry, trash. That's just about it. I'm going to give this a dice up. Not too thick, not too thin. Just right. Quick and easy. Just like me. Cheap too. Just like me. So yeah, we're just trying to stay warm. Andrew's working in the shop. I'm still working on the taxes. It's a it's a thing. It's a terrible thing. Yeah, I hate to do taxes. It was worse when I worked at the hotel because then I would have to do my taxes and then, you know, also all the tax preparation for the hotel. Yeah, getting it all together for my manager. That was the pets. That, yeah, and Andrew, he hated tax season because it makes me crazy. I love the numbers. I just, you know, all the rules. That's probably also why I'm not a good baker because I don't like, you know, I like to make the rules up as I go along. All right, I'm gonna throw this onion here. I've got a little bit of olive oil. No sweat, no muss, no fuss. There we go, easy peasy. I also have hot diggity, a red, some of a red bell pepper. Just a couple of, yeah, just a couple of sides of a red bell pepper. That's gonna be plenty. That's gonna give us that fresh little bite. And let's go ahead and get this all chopped out. So, yep, been dealing with taxes. I also had to, we, we've got new insurance. And so I had to go on to the portal and, um, you know, set up our, set up our individualized things and what have you. Go on to the pharmacy. Oh, uh, let me tell you. So I had to go into the pharmacy. We get our prescriptions either over at Albertsons or over at the Walgreens. And I had to go through the automated IVR system on both of those. Now I have a regular sounding voice in my opinion. It's not too high. It's not too squeaky. It's not too low. It's just a regular kind of voice. Anyhow, I had to go into their IVR system, you know, press one. Um, if you want to change your insurance, press two to do this, that, and the other thing. Press three and, you know, or talk. 
And so I'm trying to talk because I'm doing some other things. Well, you know, three, three. Anyhow, it does not recognize my voice as human. We do not compute. You know, I'm getting all of these error messages and yeah, it's just the pits. I, you know, I'm screaming into the phone. I just want to talk to a human. Do you ever, do you ever get that? Anyhow, yeah, yeah, eventually, like, I just quit saying anything. It, you know, I pressed zero a bunch of times. That didn't work. But I'll tell you what did work. I pressed seven for Spanish, and that got me to a live human being, thank goodness. I felt bad, you know, because that's the Spanish line. But after 15 minutes trying to figure this out, I just wanted to talk to a real life human being. All right. I just chopped those any old way. I don't care how you chop your vegetables. Gordon Ramsay is not coming to dinner tonight. And I'm kind of in a mood, so he might not even, I might not even go to the door even if it rang. Unless he had Paul Hollywood with him too. And then, oh yeah, hot diggity. So we just going to, just let these do the things that they do. Let's pick out a spatula. What looks good? Oh, this one. That looks like a lucky spoon to me. Gonna go ahead and just, yeah. Just going to cut those up a little bit. <clears throat> Pardon me. I still have this frog in my throat. Now, this is what remains of the tri-tip that I cooked the other night. And let me tell you, it was super delicious. This could make probably two really good sandwiches and one measly sandwich. And I don't want to be, I don't want the measly sandwich. And that's typically what happens, you know, with women and moms and that, yeah, the, we take the broken cupcake, the broken cookies, the weaselly little sandwich. And I'm just saying no. So instead of making two really great sandwiches, one weaselly little sandwich, I'm gonna go ahead and use this tri-tip in today's chili. Now, if I had leftover pot roast, I would be using that. If I had leftover pork chops, I would be using that. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever, chicken, turkey, whatever I had in there that was like a protein and was left over. Yes, please and thank you. I'm gonna give this a little dice up. Yeah, I cooked that really nice. That was really good. That was really terrific. We enjoyed that a lot. We ate like fat cats. Now this is seasoned. I seasoned this with Montreal steak seasoning, garlic, and um, onion powder, and it was fabulous. And those additional spices are not gonna hurt this chili one bit. I'm gonna chop it up into big old chunks because we like big old chunks. Yeah. But if you have to stretch it out a little bit more, baby, you do what you gotta do. <clears throat> you don't have an onion, you don't have a pepper, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Use one of those multi-ingredient um, cans of tomatoes, the one with the onions, the peppers, uh, you know, the spices, that kind of thing. Just go ahead and throw that on it. But I'm lucky today because I have a little bit of leftover onion and a little bit of pepper, and you know, we're moving things along in my refrigerator because I like to keep it neat and tidy. And I hate waste. So there we go. This is going to serve the three of us. And I'm going to say it's probably going to be plenty enough for dinner tonight and lunches tomorrow. We'll see how hungry everybody is. If it's lunches tomorrow, I'll probably serve a side salad. Kind of bulk it up a little bit. <clears throat> or if you could, wanted to stretch it even further, you could add pasta to this and make like a chili mac. And that pasta, yeah, that would definitely serve you dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow. Maybe even, you know, lunch for another day too. So I've just got, it's about one pound of that tri-tip. It was delicious. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that on in there too. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and give my hands a wash up because I've got Montreal steak seasoning all over them. And I don't want to smear it all over me. 
My car also does not recognize the sound of my voice. I'm in the car. I'm driving hands-free. Well, not now, but back when I was driving. I'm driving hands-free. Like, call Ken. Calling Ann. No, no, don't call Ann. Call Kim. Calling. Yeah. yeah. It's just calling whomever. Hi. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm all right. How are you? Good. It sounds like you're in the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going over to a friend's house and wanted her to, you know, give me the code to the gate again. But my car's crazy. And it called you instead. But I just wanted to tell you hi. Tell you I love you, baby. You know. And they laugh. They're like, so your car's not recognizing the sound of your voice again? No, it's on the fritz. Alexa, she doesn't get me either. Yeah, she's she's a pain in the focus. She didn't last very long over at this house. Anyhow. So I have some spices here. I have about three tablespoons of chili powder. I'm going to toss those right on in. About one half tea tablespoon, pardon me, one half tablespoon of granulated garlic. Hello, Gilroy. One half tablespoon of onion powder. You can skippy. Gonna get those in there and get those kind of toasting too. Get those flavors developing. Get it all yummy and delicious. And you put in whatever spices you like, whatever works your boat. I have a can of black beans and I have drained and rinsed this to eliminate some of the salt. It'll eliminate about 40% of the salt just by draining and rinsing it. But if you're not watching your salt, baby, leave it all in, it'll be fine, I don't care. I have a can of chili beans and now these are pinto beans in a mild sauce. And I did not drain or rinse these because I want that sauce to help flavor my chili. That's one of the reasons why, like, let's say you didn't have chili powder. Get, get one of these cans. And these are economical. These are really cheap over at the Walmart. I got mine over at the Albertsons, but I think I only paid like 97 cents for it. It's, yeah, that, those are already chili flavored. That's alone going to add a great depth of flavor. If you couldn't afford the chili powder, but you could afford a can of those chili beans, just go ahead and add those on in. Add whatever spices you like and have. Now, I buy this over at my Dollar Tree, and it is tomatoes, okra, and corn. And I love this. This is one of my favorite canned goods of all time. And the okra in this is not slimy. But I love to add it to my chili because that corn, those okra, that little bit of tomato, yes, please, and thank you. If you didn't have this one, like I said, use the multi-ingredient tomatoes, like this one. This one's got onion, celery, and green peppers. Yeah, just like that. And that's going to give you an economical boost in flavor. It's got everything already in it, baby. I'll be all right. I also have a can of Black Eyed Peas. Got this 50% off. So spent about $1.25 on this. I like Black Eyed Peas. I think they're lucky. Whether you're eating them on New Year's Day or you're eating them on a Saturday night and you're going to watch Jeopardy while you enjoy them. Go ahead and add those on in. We've got meat, we've got beans, we've got corn, we've got tomatoes, onions, peppers, some seasonings. It's looking good. And as you can see, my pot is getting really full. This is going to be a substantial meal for three people. And like, I have no doubt about it, that we are going to have plenty left over for tomorrow. So four cans, whatever leftover meat you've got in the refrigerator. Hey, you don't have leftover meat in the refrigerator. A um, package of Bar S Franks from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm not mad at that. You got a can of Spam. You're in like Flynn, baby. Melissa does not like the way that I have arranged my canned goods. 
and she really wants to organize them for me. And she does not know that I have, you know, organized them many, many times over the years. And, you know, it just, I find something unspecial. I buy a lot of it. They don't all fit. There's shuffling that happens. And anyhow, so she wants to organize my can kits for me. I told her to go for it. Absolutely. And then while she's at it, she should dust the uppers because I only do the lowers. I do the lowers every week, but the uppers like once a month. So go ahead and get to it, honey. It's all right. All right. Now you have to decide, do I want to add water to this or am I going to serve it thick? For me, I'm going to add about... about one cup of water because I do want this to have plenty of liquid for simmering on the stove. Now we're not making a big production out of this, but I'm gonna go rest up. I'm gonna put the TV trays up. I'm gonna do all the things. And I'm gonna let this just bubble around over here probably on about, oh, a two and a half, a three just to give it that, you know, cooked all day kind of taste. Let's go ahead and add some cracked, that's not cracked water. Let's add, oh, maybe that is cracked water. Well, sugar and spice, I'm all out. Oh, that's pitiful, pitiful. All right, crisis averted, I found some. Yep, it's gonna do me just fine, but yeah. I think I'm going to need some peppercorns. If I can get this thing open, cooperate, please. Anyhow, I'm going to give it a little black pepper, and I'm going to let those flavors develop. I'm going to let all of those spices run through all those beans for that meat to kind of simmer in there. We're going to come back and see if we need anything else. And I have an idea of what we will need. I'm not going to tell you now. It's a secret. My secret ingredient, it's probably your secret ingredient too. It's not that secret, but you know. Anyhow, gonna let this do what it does. I'll be back in a minute and we'll finish this chili up. And that didn't take any time at all, yay hooray. Okay, well that's just simmering away. It looks and smells fantastic. Yippee skippy, I'm super hungry, super excited about that. Time to add my secret ingredient, a little bit of ketchup. Now I have tasted this and it is a little bit spicy. It's a little bit tangy. It's a whole lot delicious, but it needs a little balance. And so that sugar from that ketchup will just go ahead and balance that right out. I'm gonna give it two tablespoons. Yep, and I'm not particular on my ketchup. I just buy one at the Dollar 25 store and I'm thrilled with it. For a dollar twenty-five, yes, please and thank you. So add a couple of tablespoons of that ketchup just to take the bite out of that a little bit. You could add a little sugar too if you wanted to, or a little Splenda. That ketchup's not going to hurt one bit. I also have a little bit of cilantro from my garden last year. Got that all dried up, and I am going to add about a tablespoon of cilantro. Now that's completely optional. A lot of people don't like it. I love it. Yay, hooray. About a tablespoon. Just gonna give that a little bit of bite. And we are ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this down. This is just simmering away. It looks really good. Here. Yeah, looks meaty and lots of the veg and that okra and the corn, all of those different kinds of beans and those black eyed peas. Yes, please and thank you. To go with this today, we've got a little bit of, I'm gonna cut up this lime in case you want a fresh squeeze of lime on yours. Um, we've got some grated cheese. We've got some tortilla chips. We've got some low salt Ritz crackers. I'm gonna have four. Um, we have some sour cream. Yes, please, and thank you, because that's, yeah, that's what I like on my chili. Melissa loves this Lighthouse Jalapeno Ranch. This is not super spicy, 
but it is very seasoned and very well flavored and it has you know that great ranch taste with a little bit of kick from those jalapenos she's gonna have that so we are all set i'm gonna get this lime all cut up gonna make my bowl and then you know i'm just gonna turn this down to like low i'm just gonna turn it to low i'm gonna put the lid on this baby and then they can just come and serve themselves as they want yippee skippy i'm gonna get my bowl ready though but before i do you know what it's time for classic tv trivia yay hooray i love it all right we're going back to the mary tyler moore show I just love Mary she's just awesome and yeah I love the Mary Tyler Moore show not afraid to say it anyhow does anybody know what the theme song to the Mary Tyler Moore show was called yeah tell me down below if you know the name of the theme song to the Mary Tyler Moore show I was singing it um, yesterday all day long just singing it and humming it and Andrew 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 was whistling it and we were yeah anyhow it's a thing with him and I. We get stuck on songs and I'll be humming it and he'll pick up where I left off with his whistling. He whistles all the time. And honestly, I love it. I love it that he's a whistler because, you know, he's happy. I, I know when he's whistling, he's happy. For me, that's one of my primary jobs to make sure that he's happy and safe and loved at home and and when he's whistling i just know that he he is just having a good day yay hooray all right bring it back and show you my plate all right my lovies well this is my bowl of chili got my four crackers got a little slice of lime for that little fresh taste a little cheese a little sour cream this isn't gonna hurt one bit oh it smells so good all right I gotta get down to it. It's almost time for rerun Jeopardy. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I wasn't feeling it, but I'm super glad that I put the effort, minimal though it was, into this dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy it. All right, be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Bye now.